Lesson two, the use of variables. First of all, what is a variable? Variables are used in computer programs to store a piece of information. For example, if you create a computer program that asks for a person's name, a variable can be used to store the person's name. A variable is like a box, you can only store one piece of information at a time. In the diagram below, the variable is called name and it's storing the piece of information, Sarah. If we store another piece of information, John, then we need to remove the name Sarah from the box. Our programs are going to get a little bit more complicated, so we're going to use the editing window. The editing window lets you create longer programs that won't do anything until you run them. First, we'll start by opening the interactive window, then go to File, a New, and this will open the editing window, which is sometimes called the scripting window. We're going to write a program now using the variable we talked about earlier on. So we're going to type in name equals input and we're going to put what is your name? The second line of code is basically an output statement that we're going to get the program to produce. So we're going to use print again and we're going to use hi and then we're going to put the variable in and finish the sentence. And close the brackets. Now, we now need to save the program and we need to run the program. So we go to run and choose run module. This will then run the program. It will ask me the name. So if I type in the name that we used earlier on and press enter, it will say, hi Sarah, I'm pleased to meet you. Let's just go through this piece of code. In this particular case, the variable is called name and we're saying name equals input, what is your name? So the computer is asking for input uh, and in this case it's asking for the name to be entered. The second line of code, print, hi, name, in this case name will display whatever's in that particular variable. So uh, as we talked about earlier on, it's a, like a box and whatever's contained inside the box will display at this particular point. And then it says, I'm pleased to meet you. And that will be displayed after the variable name is displayed. Okay. Now let's try another simple program. This time we're going to use the variable name X. We'll say X equals six. And we're also going to use another variable called Y and Y equals five. Then we're going to do a third line of code. We're going to have a print statement here. And we're going to say print x plus y. Okay, so in this particular program here, we'll save it now. And when we run the program, it will print 11, x plus y. So you need to be case, careful when you think of variable names, because some names are not allowed by the Python program. So for example, we can use first name equals Sarah. We get an error message because first name is two words. We're only allowed to use one word for our variable name. One way around this is to use first underscore name equals Sarah. And that is allowed. Uh, also, you can't use numbers. So if I use two first here equals Sarah, again, there'll be an error message with this one because you can't start with a number. And it's always best to think of, of meaningful words when you think of a variable name. Also be aware that there are a list of keywords that you can't use for your variable names. These words are used by Python and are reserved words.